Hi, and welcome to my studio in Wichita. I'm Darren Parker, and I'm here today to answer some questions that was sent in and talk about my art. So I'm new to this, not the art thing, of course, but I'm new to this this video technology. So um, bear with me, please, and happy May Day. So I hope everybody's being safe and healthy out there. Um, the, one of the first questions was talking about my my um, abstracts, which I think the abstracts are probably they mean the most to me. I think out of all my art, um, my abstracts tend to be a release for me to paint my moods and my emotions. And uh, the question was what has stirred my interest in abstraction during my recent years and does your knowledge of realistic painting guide your abstract work in any way so yeah there is so much more freedom when i'm painting abstract there's probably more of me in those pieces um, my realistic pieces are very focused and very rigid and either they're commissions that I've been asked to do or or paintings that I've decided to paint of Pratt or Cunningham or the surrounding areas, um, Byers, Medicine Lodge. Um, so yeah, the abstracts, I think that the realistic painting, uh, my palette, I think, for my realistic paintings tend to guide my abstracts so yeah some of the realistic pieces i or those pieces do guide me in a sense so the next question is um i loved watching your work your work evolve over time have you always used watercolor or tried any other mediums to paint well i started out with graphite in high school and that was my main so Pencil drawing was my main focus. And then when I got into college, I started working on oil painting. And actually, through my oils is what gave me spending money while I was in college. Um, and then I went into watercolor pencil in 1996. And then watercolor. The, in the end of 2018. So just a little about a year and a half I've been doing watercolor traditional watercolor um next question is uh did you have any painters that inspired you i had several uh, mc escher when i was in high school i also i wanted to go to architecture when i was in high school and actually i did go into architecture for the first for a semester in college at k-state um and, and uh, frank lloyd wright was my was the person that inspired me most in the architecture and but with my art, probably M.C. Escher, Norman Rockwell, um, Edward Hopper, Andrew Wyeth, N.C. Wyeth, um, have all been a big inspiration to me. Um, the next question is, do you have a favorite piece in the Hometown series so far? I do. Probably my favorite piece is one of my newest pieces, and that is this one of the Aldrug. I used to go to the Al Drug when I was a kid. My mom would take me there, my grandma would take me there. That's where I got my first limeade. Um, I loved this drugstore. So it was an honor to paint this picture. I also have another painting that I is not in my hometown series, which means a lot to me. It's probably my favorite painting. Of, probably the, my most favorite painting I've done since I moved back to Kansas. and. This is Sacred Ground, and this is from a photograph I took near Sedona of Castle Rock. So this is probably the, another favorite of mine. Um, the next question, is it difficult to make a living as an artist? Yes. Probably the, you're your own boss, and probably the, the biggest challenge is being motivated. So, and knowing that you rely on yourself to make ends meet and to pay the rent and to um, buy supplies 
it's so I've learned to spread out and to now I'm teaching art classes I'm leading retreats um, I do art shows I do art walks I sell prints I do commissions so all that put together makes it a viable job for me profession that I am able to make it on so but you have to spread out and you have to you have to really decide that it's not just about painting it's about marketing it's about talking to people it's about making sure you're on the social media platforms so there's a lot to it um, the next question is what kind of watercolor paper do I like I usually use Arches 300 pound um, cold press um, since I do put a lot of paint on my on my paper and a lot of water sometimes the 300 pound seems to not buckle as much as 140 pound paper does um, I usually use Derwent. The next question is, what brand of watercolor pencils do you recommend? I always use Derwent watercolor pencils when I'm doing watercolor pencil paintings. Um, if I'm just doing watercolor paintings themselves, then I usually use Daniel Smith or Castle watercolors or Winsor Newton. So um, the next question is, what inspired you to come up with a calendar idea? Actually, that was a amazing project. I'm gonna do it again this year. Um, but I was talking to a customer or a collector, and she was like, "You know, you've got so many paintings. You should do a calendar." And it's like, "Wow, you're right. I should do a calendar." So I did some research and figured out the best place to get the calendars from. Got all the pieces together and uh, did it and it was a huge huge project but it was so satisfying and, and i think we sold 700 calendars last year so people are already asking about the calendar for next year um next question is do you use watercolor in your abstract paintings i do all my abstracts are watercolor um, the most popular painting that i've ever done is probably this painting right here this is home just up the road and in about three weeks time we sold a hundred prints of this signed and numbered prints so it sold out since that time uh, we have sold some prints of it um, that were not numbered um, so just signed prints, so a limited or an open edition. So probably within all the prints of it, probably 150 prints. So this picture has been very, very popular. Um, what gets me out of my creative rut? Uh, probably necessity. Um, knowing that I have to to make ends meet so um, the biggest problem is motivation um, sometimes because of depression sometimes of other things but anyway thanks for dropping in talk to you soon bye